Imagine a fighter jet. It screams through the clouds at supersonic speed. It pulls off maneuvers that would crush a human body. But there is no one inside. The cockpit is empty. This is not a scene from a Hollywood blockbuster or a far-off science fiction story. This is, honestly, the reality of air power in 2025. The United States has just pulled the curtain back on a weapon system that changes everything we thought we knew about aerial combat. This new aircraft, the F-47, represents a monumental shift. It marks the day the United States Air Force officially welcomed a thinking, learning, and fighting robot into its ranks. The concept of an unmanned aircraft is not new. We've had drones for years, like the Predator, Reaper. They were groundbreaking, but they were always remotely piloted. A human, often thousands of miles away, staring at a screen, moving a joystick. The drone was an extension of the pilot's will. The F-47 is something entirely different. It is not just unmanned, it is autonomous. It flies itself. It thinks for itself. Its advanced artificial intelligence can analyze a complex battle space, make tactical decisions, and execute a mission with minimal human input. This is the leap from remote control to true artificial intelligence in the sky, the arrival of the F-47 signals the end of one era and the dawn of another. For over a century, the story of air combat has been the story of the pilot, Red Baron, Chuck Yeager, Robin Olds. They were the knights of the modern age, defined by skill, courage, and the ability to push machines to the limit. Now the paradigm is shifting. From the individual hero in the cockpit, to the power of the network, the intelligence of the algorithm, and the overwhelming force of a coordinated autonomous team. The age of the robotic warrior has begun. This didn't happen overnight. It's the result of years of R&D and secret testing at places like Edwards, with programs like Skyborg and Loyal Wingman. With the official unveiling of the F-47, the United States has declared it achieved that goal, a moment military historians will study for generations. So, what exactly is the F-47? At first glance, it looks like a cutting-edge fighter jet, a stealthy design meant to evade enemy radar. Its powerful engines push it to incredible speeds and altitudes. But the most important feature is what's missing, a pilot. In its place, a distributed network of high-speed processors and dedicated AI cores, the electronic brain that changes warfare. The F-47 is a collaborative combat aircraft. It's designed to fly alongside piloted fighters like the F-35 or next-gen FAXX. Think of it as the ultimate wingman, loyal, fearless, and riskable. It can go first into danger without risking a human life, scout ahead, jam enemy electronics, or carry extra weapons to extend the formation's reach. This partnership is the core of America's new air combat philosophy, an arsenal of world-class sensors, advanced radar, infrared search and track, and electronic intelligence receivers. Its AI fuses everything into one coherent picture, identifies threats, prioritizes targets, and suggests actions in milliseconds. Processing at machine speed gives a decisive advantage before a shot is fired. It sees everything and acts instantly. It isn't a single model, built on open architecture, easily updated for different missions. One day air-to-air -air missiles, the next powerful EW pods. Flexibility equals cost effectiveness. The Air Force can tailor its robotic army to any threat anywhere without designing a new aircraft each time. The F-47's most revolutionary capability isn't just flying itself, it acts as a commander in the sky, a quarterback for smaller, specialized drones. An F-47 doesn't enter a battle alone, it brings its own squadron. These smaller drones are attritable, cheap enough to be lost. They act as its eyes and its ears, and its sword. The F-47's AI doesn't pilot one plane, it manages a network. That creates a swarm, coordinated machines working toward one goal. Imagine a combat scenario. A pilot in an F-35 must strike a command center. Instead of flying alone, two F-47s join as robotic wingmen. Each controls a swarm of a dozen smaller drones. As the formation nears, drones go forward to map radar sites and missile batteries, carving a safe corridor. When defenses appear, jammers unleash a storm of noise that blinds enemy radar. Sacrificial drones trigger air defenses, forcing wasteful missile shots. The path clears for the real fighters. The F-47 collects, analyzes, adapts, in real time. The human chooses what to strike, the machine manages the swarm at lightning speed. This is teamwork on a level never seen in warfare. One commander, many autonomous teammates, synchronized. Objective achieved, casualties avoided. The F-47 keeps the pilot safe, and the mission on time. The single greatest benefit of the F-47 and its autonomous swarm is obvious. 
It keeps American pilots safe. Pilots take years to train and cost millions. Losing one is devastating, tactically and humanly. The F-47 changes this dynamic completely. Now the riskiest jobs go to machines. Be first to enter, probe defenses, draw fire. Missions once too dangerous become viable, even one-way missions with no human cost. This creates a massive strategic advantage. Planners can be bolder, knowing people are protected. A robotic shield so human pilots live to fight another day. Humans black out around 9 Gs. The F-47 is limited only by its airframe, 15-20 G maneuvers, and more in simulations. In a dogfight, that's decisive. It can outturn, outclimb, outmaneuver any human-piloted aircraft, dodging missiles with inhuman agility. An enemy no longer faces one or two targets, but dozens, which is the real threat, which is a decoy, which carries weapons, which is just a sensor. The swarm is designed to overload and paralyze decisions. While the enemy struggles, the F-47 and its human partner are already heading home. The unveiling of the F-47 autonomous fighter jet is a direct challenge to China. The PLA Air Force has modernized for two decades. Trillions of yuan invested in stealth like the J-20 Mighty Dragon. On paper, stealthy, fast, long-range missiles, built to compete with America's fifth-gen fighters. Overnight, the F-47 makes that approach dangerously outdated. The J-20 is still built around a human. Limited G-tolerance, no suicide missions, finite cognitive bandwidth. It was designed to fight pilots, not a thinking coordinated swarm. A swarm can outmaneuver and overwhelm. Their flagship appears a generation behind, like showing up to a gunfight with a sword. The J-20 pilot faces a network. An F-47 turns tighter, backed by a dozen drones attacking from multiple directions. Shoot down one or two. 10 remain. The F-47 stays safe, manages the fight, and fires long-range weapons. Catching up won't be easy. This isn't just airframes or engines, it's AI, machine learning, and autonomous networking at scale. Areas where the U.S. holds long-standing advantages. A software and AI gap that may take a decade or more. The F-47 is a strategic shock, forcing rivals back to the drawing board. The Pentagon projects confident, controlled strength. United States Air Force Chief of Staff General Charles Q. Brown Jr. at the unveiling, the F-47, the next indispensable element of American air power. He stressed, not replacing pilots, empowering them. Our pilots are our greatest strength, the most powerful, capable, and loyal wingman in history. It ensures American airmen will never enter a fair fight. Leaders see solutions to pressing problems. Cheaper to build and operate than a piloted F-35. It addresses heavily defended zones, China's and Russia's advanced air defenses. Most importantly, it accelerates the kill chain. With AI swarms, minutes become seconds. In Beijing, public dismissal, private alarm, they call it American hegemony and an AI arms race. They say their tech is advancing to protect sovereignty, intelligence suggests deeper concern inside the military. A major setback forcing re-evaluation of air defense and the J-20. Expect fast tracking of AI and swarm programs. This is not just a demo, it's a strategic shock, forcing rivals to reconsider fundamentals. Confidence in Washington, concern in Beijing, a new era has a name, and a lead. The introduction of the F-47 is not just an upgrade, it's a transformation. It changes the nature of air combat, and war itself. The future is less about lone pilots and more about superior algorithms and resilient networks. The winning side's machines will think, adapt, and coordinate faster than the enemies. AI against AI, with humans as mission commanders and strategic overseers, rather than frontline trigger pullers. A new kind of power imbalance emerges. For now, the United States holds a monopoly on autonomous swarms, an asymmetric advantage over any adversary. Even advanced fifth-gen fighters face a different level of threat, speed, maneuverability, and coordinated power, at machine scale. This reshapes global power dynamics and deterrence, signaling intent to maintain superiority, shape events, and protect allies. Today marks the start of a new chapter. Courage and skill still matter, now augmented by raw AI power. The F-47 is the first true weapon of this new age. The future of war is robotic, and for now overwhelmingly American. The sky has changed forever.